Hello, I'm Michael Taylor and I'm here in Albert Square in Manchester to find out today what was it that made Manchester great in the past and what's Manchester going to be great and known for in the future. This was a city as the cradle of the Industrial Revolution, the birthplace of the Manchester liberal tradition. Manchester is the birthplace of the cooperative movement, trade unionism, and a place where the atom was split for the first time and where we're now developing a wonder product called graphene. But what can it be known for in the future? What will Manchester's ideas be that will shape the 21st century? And who is going to be contributing to making those ideas part of Manchester's lasting legacy? What is the pull to Manchester? What will make more people like you with great skills stay in the city in the future and not be drawn down to London? Um, I think it's a combination of a few things. I think for one, uh, there's a question of what's keeping you out of other places. So say in London, there's uh, a big difference in prices and renting, being able to actually afford and live there. For Manchester, I think there's a lot of the different communities that are here, for example, when you've got Manchester's Canal Street, that keeps a lot of people here and there are a lot of people that do feel welcome and at home here. So there's a, a sense of well-being and safety as well. I come down here and I'll tell you what, I'm in awe of the place. I mean, look at that building behind us. You know, that's almost as big as Tameside. <laughs> and whatever happens here in the centre, and this will always be the centre, you know, I don't make no mistake about this, and that's, and that's right. But um, being just, just, just being part of it, we can share, in, you know, in some of the resources that Manchester have. On the political front, we have to understand that we are talking about Greater Manchester. Businesses are going to have to come together. They're going to have to talk about Greater Manchester. You know, all our community organisations got to be part of Greater Manchester. I'm quite impressed with this city because I thought it was just, it was, it was going to be like just a normal city, you know, just a worker city. But today I'm visiting and I'm, I'm quite impressed. This city is beautiful, got amazing old buildings from old centuries and I'm quite happy to, to, to be here today, honestly. What do I think of Manchester? I think it's a city of contrast. You can, you can go everywhere and you see new building and then something like, like a city hall. So it's, it's something different. And as, as Philip said, I, I feel overwhelmed by this a bit. It's beautiful, buildings are stunning and all the details and everything. It was the beginning of, of everything basically, of industry. So this is stunning and we feel here it's, it's beautiful. So Adam, what's going to make Manchester greater in the 21st century? When it discovers that it's not actually any other city, it's not London, it's not New York, it's not California, it's its own city and like, it's the home of the counterculture movement and when it starts realising that and going back to its roots and starts creating businesses that challenge current society, societal norms instead of trying to emulate them, that's when you'll get massive change. What Manchester still has and what it's famous for, things like its architecture, its buildings and I suppose even to a degree its industry and this, this northern powerhouse. As long as you guys preserve the history of your, of your city with these great buildings you got, the great history you got about worker and industry related, I think it will be, you will stay like with this great city in here, in my opinion. The universities in Manchester are well known all over the world, aren't they? They're actually well known all over the world. And, this, and the, the things that they can bring out of the universities, you know, in, in terms of helping us, I think is just absolutely endless. So there we have it, Manchester, a city of great traditions, a city that's pulling people in from all over the world, a city that's as known for its historical legacy as it is for its modern adventurism, for embracing different ideas, different lifestyles, and to celebrate Manchester's place in the global economy. But why will Manchester be great in the 21st century? And who has to collaborate in the spirit of John Bright to make this city even greater? <laughs>